What up guys, it's your boy Quake and I'm back with another video on an artist who forever changed the music industry and this man is definitely a legend, someone who's forever influenced all these up and coming artists, these artists that are out right now, artists in the past helped motivate and influence them and forever changed the amount of music we get really from artists once this artist came out and distributed all the music that he did it changed everything today i come to you to tell you that um it's nothing like hard work pussy not even pussy not even pussy. actually not even money because a lot of motherfuckers get the money without hard work and they don't know what to do and people that get money without hard work sometimes don't even want the money but hard work is everything how do i know because i work hard you understand me? So you know damn well who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Lil Wayne, Wheezy F Baby. Despite of all the things that's going on right now with him between Birdman and Cash Money Records and him not being able to release music or having a hold on his music for the most part, and well, his music's sort of declining in terms of quality. Uh, a lot of the content's the same now and it's not as good as it used to be. Despite all of that, you still have to remember the insane impact he had between 2006 and I would say arguably till 2009. I mean at one point everyone in the world was calling this man the best rapper alive. Now you're probably thinking that's crazy talk because we're in 2017 but if you were in 2008 and you were listening to hip-hop you couldn't escape Lil Wayne. I mean this guy was everywhere and he was killing everything he was on whether it was his own music or whether he was on features on other people's songs. So let's get into why he was at one point called the best rapper alive and the things that he did that forever changed the music industry. You get a lot of you know younger cats that's listening to him now and they feel he's a new artist. You know but I go all the way back to the hot boy days you know and being 13 listening to this dude just remembering the staple that he put on the game back then all the way to now you know to have that longevity years behind it so for him you know to actually acknowledge you know what i'm doing right now you know and see it as a path the same way you know the longevity that he created is a great feeling to actually share that same stage and that same moment you know wayne ain't no no, no new jack to the game like i said you know he influenced a lot of styles and, and, and a lot of sounds and I can say I was influenced by a certain sound and a flow and the cadence, you know, that he brought to the game, which was very unique. Me being a young boy in the game and listening to him, like, yo, okay, I need to learn this and that, you know, and that definitely was a uh, perspective from that tape. So the first major thing that he did that forever changed the music industry was he took 50 Cent's blueprint and made it 10 times bigger and better. Now if you watched my video on how 50 Cent forever changed the music industry, you'll know that 50 Cent basically invented the mixtape and a way to use it to promote his music. Well Lil Wayne saw that and took it to the next level. So what do I mean when I say Wayne took it to the next level in terms of using 50 Cent's blueprint? Well, Wayne basically flooded the streets with mixtapes and he didn't rely on making the songs in song format like 50 Cent did. 50 Cent would completely flip people's songs and redo their hooks and make them better. What Wayne did is just simply hit us with straight bars and this was just something that wasn't unheard of at the time because I feel like a lot of people weren't listening to lyrics at the time and Wayne made us listen to lyrics more because he was hitting us with bars back to back to back on each song and he was flooding us with mixtapes. I mean, at one point, this guy within a year released over a 100 songs. That's a lot of content and material. I mean, you have to think about that, 100 songs. I'm sure within that year, he recorded well over a 1,000. He just didn't release them probably at the time or there weren't leaks or anything like that so I give Wayne props because he saw the internet era ahead of its time you have to remember and possibly around 2007 2008 even 2006 the internet was still in its infant stages now granted it was it was big but like YouTube was just starting uh, there weren't a lot of media players like SoundCloud out and there weren't a lot of places to get your music and Wayne was sort of ahead of that knew that eventually the internet would would start to blow up and people would want more more music and more content daily because it started turning into a fast food era and you know where you get content quick you digest it and then you move on to the next thing and Wayne knew that people wanted that people wanted more music they didn't want just one album with 15 songs every two years or every year people wanted a lot of content he saw that 
that I believe possibly probably learned that from 50 Cent because when 50 Cent first came out, he didn't flood it as much as Lil Wayne did, but he did release mixtapes back to back within like possibly six months or three months. I can't really recall, but yeah, he did flood it and sort of build up a buzz. So he took that from 50, but he, he hit him up. He hit people with way, way more. I mean, at one point, I don't know how many mixtapes were dropping in one year from Wayne. He just couldn't escape Lil Wayne. On top of that, what he did that was really smart that 50 Cent didn't do because 50 Cent at the time when he came out, he had this sort of fuck everybody mentality because they weren't helping him get into the industry so he wouldn't do features with a lot of artists what Wayne did was said fuck it I'm gonna do a bunch of features with a bunch of artists even if they're not hip hop artists I'm gonna jump on their songs I mean we had Wayne on rock singles we had Wayne on pop records Wayne was just everywhere at one point he entered on the Hot 100 so many times he broke records from previous artists like the Beatles he broke a bunch of records because he was all over the place I mean you could hear him on radio you could hear him in the streets everywhere Wayne was everywhere you couldn't escape him from I would say probably 2007 2009 there was a single there wasn't a single song where you did not hear Lil Wayne in it so obviously this worked for him because when he released the Carter 3 he ended up selling a million copies within the first week I mean that's a huge jump from his previous album on the Carter 2 which was nowhere near a million copies within the first week so obviously this was working for Lil Wayne and everybody else started gravitating towards releasing a lot of music because he knew people wanted that so every other artist started doing that more artists started releasing content and not being afraid not listening to labels because labels would do the generic one album every two years or one album every year so the best example i can use for that is future obviously future has taken from lil wayne and has flooded the streets with music i mean i don't know how many mixtapes he dropped within these past two to three years future has dropped I could arguably say probably six mixtapes. He's dropped like three to four albums. I can't keep track of all of them, but obviously Future used this method. And another thing that Lil Wayne did that forever changed the music industry or at least made people pay attention more to, and this is sort of an opinion, but it's also fact, is that more people paid attention to lyrics once Lil Wayne made it sort of popular and cool because he had a bunch of punchlines, a lot of metaphors, lyrics that were just unheard of at the time. I mean, you had Lloyd Banks that was spitting some crazy stuff. You had a bunch of artists that were spitting crazy, but I feel like a lot of people slept on lyrics in terms of those artists. And Wayne made it cool again for people to spit and actually put a thought process behind what they were writing. And this was, and this is why it's insane, is because Lil Wayne did this at an insane pace. I mean, he was releasing so much music. While he was releasing that music, he was releasing quality music at the same time, which is very hard to do. Now, a lot of artists can release a lot of music, but the quality of the music will not be that good. And that's what makes Lil Wayne so talented and so legendary, is that he can release hot music at a great pace. And granted, I feel like this is where he was in his prime and in his zone. And when you get in your zone, there's really nothing that can stop you as an artist. I mean, Drake's in it right now. Wayne was in it in between 2007 to 2009. So once you get in that zone, there's nothing that can stop you and you're just gonna constantly release good music. So that is also the downfall of what Wayne did. There's a positive and a negative. One, what Wayne did was gave us a lot of music and this gave us fans a lot more content, which was good. But this also motivated a lot of artists to release fast food music and not put a lot of time into their music because they saw Wayne do it and they thought, hey, if Wayne can release this music, all at this pace and still release quality music I can too and that just simply wasn't the case for everyone a lot of people were releasing garbage music really quick just because they wanted to build a buzz or try to do the same thing Wayne did which is the negative of that a lot of content was coming out that was just fast food music that was garbage that wasn't great at all so another thing that Lil Wayne did that forever changed hip-hop and the music industry was that he decided to sort of take it out the box and what he was dressing like i mean we saw wayne in ugg boots at one point we saw him in all these fruity colorful colors and it just influenced a lot of artists to sort of follow that path and just be who they are because a lot of hip-hop you have to remember before wayne really blew up was a lot of street shit and a lot of you know gangster looking guys who i mean they had tattoos like wayne did but they were just dressed a certain way like long white tees you know jerseys and stuff like that that was the style back then but it was also more more gangster looking and Lil Wayne said you know what let me wear skinny jeans let me wear Ugg boots um, let me wear more colorful colors and 
a lot of people hated this but then this also like i said influenced a lot of artists that are out right now like you see lil uzi vert dressing a completely different way you see young thug dress in a completely different way you see future dress in a different way everybody sort of have their own style now and i feel like lil wayne really pushed this i mean kanye did in his own sense as well but wayne did it in such an outlandish level that it garnered all this attention and all this sort of controversy in hip-hop where people were like oh, i don't know if we can accept this but once wayne kept doing it kept doing it eventually it was accepted and now you see a bunch of artists following the same similar path and I know a lot of artists in like the 1980s, 1990s were also dressing weird, but I feel like Lil Wayne's the one for this generation that did it and that pushed the envelope. And the last and final thing that Lil Wayne did that forever changed hip hop was just simply influence artists. I mean, within these past five to 10 years, you can't name a single artist that wasn't influenced by Lil Wayne. If you were listening to hip hop when he was in his prime, all these new artists that came after possibly 2007 were all influenced by Lil Wayne. If you ask them in interviews who influenced them, a lot of them will mention Lil Wayne from Currency to these newer artists like Yachty. I mean, whoever it is, whether you like these newer artists or not, a lot of them, were influenced by Lil Wayne. If it wasn't for Wayne, a lot of these artists probably wouldn't have the motivation to make music or they just wouldn't feel like they fit in hip hop because like I said earlier, Lil Wayne pushed those boundaries and what was accepted in hip hop. So with all this being said, what do you guys think of Lil Wayne? Do you think he can still make an impact in music today? Is that Carter 5 ever going to be released? I feel like he still has it in him. He just has to take a break take a break from the industry sort of go missing for a few years and then bam once all that legal stuff gets figured out hit us with carter 5 and make it one of the greatest albums close to carter 3 or carter 2 because a lot of people prefer carter 2 over carter 3 regardless whichever one make it some great content come back strong and go back to your place as one of the top five artists in today's time so leave a comment below let me know what you guys think I'm seeing all the comments. I'm definitely going to work on different artists over time. So I'm definitely reading the comments, knowing what you guys want to see. So I'll work on all those videos in due time. Leave a comment below. Like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.